welcome everybody to the uh, latest chair based yoga session. Um, just a few caveats that we say at the beginning of each, um, each session. First of all, um, know your own body. That's really important. So if you've got any aches and pains or specific issues, um, move carefully. Uh, really, the sessions are designed uh, not to hurt you. <laughs> so don't overstretch um, if you've got certain tender joints or tender muscles. So know your own body is the first thing. Second thing, posture. Try as much as you can to keep a straight back. Sometimes we move forward on the chair. But again, try and keep a straight back. And if we're extending upwards, extend through the crown, reaching up towards the ceiling. And then the third one really is to do with breathing. We mainly advocate breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And the idea with the breathing is it's not meant to be strenuous. It's meant to be a sort of a smooth, gentle um, sensation, smooth and steady rather than staccato. So. Focus a lot on the breathing if you can. Um, one, in fact, breathing is probably the most important thing um, compared to actually the, the different postures. So we'll be doing a sort of a full body, it's a full body uh, yoga session. Um, and we normally start from the head and work our way down through the body. We'll be a little bit focus on the hands today, some gentle hand um, exercises. So first of all, to start off with the breathing, so have a nice straight back, hands on the stomach, and you're going to feel your belly rise as you breathe in through your nose. Off you go. Feel it fall when you breathe out. And again, in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Final one in through the nose. Feel the belly rise. Exhale, feel the belly fall. And we're going to just do one where we're breathing in through one nostril at a time. So uh, use one finger to close your right nostril, and then we're breathing in through the left one and out through the mouth. So off we go. And close off the left nostril and breathe in through the right, through the nose. Out through the mouth. And the final breathing one, this is the start of uh, Vikram Yoga. You might start to go back next week, it's all opened up again now. So you have your interlock your hands. And if you can bring your elbows together, and then have your hands underneath your chin. The idea of this is this continuous movement. So as you breathe in through your nose, you're lifting up your elbows to frame your face and you're getting your elbows up as high as you can. So ready to inhale. Inhale. Lift. When you're at the top there, then push your chin back. Breathe out and bring your elbows together at the front. And as you lower your head, breathe in again. So in a continuous movement, let's have a go. So lower head and breathe in. Elbows up, push chin back and exhale. Elbows together, drop, uh, breathe in. Eyes as you can, fill up the lungs as much as you can. Exhale. Last one, make this one the deepest. Ready, here we go. Push the chin back. Exhale and arms down. Right, now we're gonna go on just to do a little bit with our neck. So first of all, nice straight back. So just gently lower your head so your chin is on your chest. And when the chin is on the chest, inhale. Then keeping the chin close to the chest, turn your head up to the right as much as is comfortable and exhale. Slowly back down, keeping chin down, then inhale again. Head up to the left, just as much as is comfortable. Exhale. Back down and then lift up your head. Okay. 
Next one with a straight back this time. Just let your head fall backwards. Relax the muscles back. Inhale. And exhale. Then head back up to the top. Good. All right, the next one then. This time, as you inhale, we're going to just turn so that you're looking across your right shoulder. So inhale. And gently turn as much as is comfortable. So you're looking, you're moving a quarter of a circle to the right. And exhale. Back to the middle. And we'll inhale again. And turn to the left. Again, nice and gentle. If it hurts, don't go too far. Exhale. And back. Right, last one. Now, let your shoulders sort of hang down. Now, tilt your head to the right. So you're contracting the muscles on the right side of your neck, elongating them on your left. Then pick up your right hand, place it on your left ear, and then just gently push your head down towards your shoulders. So you're sort of stretching up that muscle on the left side there. Good, back to the top, then repeat the process on the other side. So head to the left, inhale, left hand up, and over the top, and then just push that down a little bit. Okay, right, so we've done our breathing, and we've uh, warmed up our neck muscles a little bit, we've done neck. Now we're going on to a little bit of work with the shoulders. So the first one, we often do this one is where we're inhaling and as we inhale we're lifting up our shoulders to to get as, get them as close to our ears as possible so ready so two shoulders together nice straight back think about your posture so inhale those two shoulders up to the ears and exhale and let them fully relax down so let your hands dangle down really relax and again inhale Hold it there for a second. And as you exhale, let those shoulders release and relax them down. And third one. Okay, and relax. Okay, now move a bit further forward on your chair. What we're gonna do now is just gently warm up our shoulders. So arms are still at our side for this posture. And what we're doing is we're rotating our shoulders um, in unison, forward together. So we'll rotate them uh, maybe three times. So again, focus on your posture. So try and maintain a straight back and relax the shoulders so they're down. Okay, and then as you inhale, we're gonna be rotating the shoulders forward. So ready, inhale, ready. So one, two, good, three. Just waking up that shoulder joint. Let's do it again, so inhale. One, two, three. Nice and gentle to warm it up, good. And move a bit further forward on your chair because uh, now we're going to do that in reverse. So this time as we inhale, we're going to be rotating our shoulders backwards. As you do it, you'll feel your um, shoulder blades almost meeting in the middle. So ready, sitting up straight. So inhale and let's lift. So one, two, the third one, three, Good, and then we'll do a second set of that. So inhale, ready? One, two, and three, good. Right, next one, we're gonna do a little bit of a, the cat and cow stretch. So this is one with a little bit of a forward bend of this one. Remember we, um, we move in six ways, forwards and backwards sideways and twist. We incorporate all of those six in, in this session. So moving to the forward. What you do, have your hands on your knees to begin with and sit in your normal sort of sitting position. And what you're gonna do is we, as we inhale, we're going to um, lift up our head to the ceiling and lean backwards, lean the upper body and our head backwards. Ready? So ready to inhale. So inhale first. Then stretch up with your head, push your chest out, and look up, and then exhale. Then slowly, we're folding our body down, so now your head is drooping. Let your head hang down so that you're curled 
up and you're looking sort of at your abdomen. When you're down there, as we inhale, then we're going to uncurl ourselves and repeat the process. Ready? So inhale, and then straighten up one vertebrae at a time, nice and gently. Then head up, head back, push your chest out, and exhale. Then we'll repeat that by gently bringing your head forward and curling up. So head down towards your sort of stomach, looking at your abdomen. One last go, ready? So as you inhale, we're, we're opening up one vertebrae at a time, ready? So inhale, coming more upright. Then push the head forward, and up, push the chest forward, exhale, and back down we can. Right, let's just do a little bit more now with, um, with our arms so, and our shoulders. So first one we're gonna do, uh, we're going to, as we um, inhale, we're going to lift our arms up parallel to the floor, first of all, okay? So ready? This is good for the shoulder joints and the muscles, and the shoulder muscles, ready? So inhale, arms up parallel to the floor, keep them there for five, four, three, two, one, and then just let them relax down again, good. So we're holding for five when we're at the top, when we're level with the floor, ready? Here we go, up we go. <coughs> Pardon me. And drop down again. Well done. This time what we're going to do is as we inhale, we're going to lift our arms up. But when we get them parallel to the floor, then we're going to cock our wrists so that our hands are pointing back a bit more like this. Back towards us. Okay, so ready? Inhale. So arms out. Then lift up our wrists. And then when the wrists are there, as you exhale, push the walls out. and arms down again. But right, we'll do that one again. So when our arms are parallel to the floor, then we're lifting up our hands. Ready, so let's go. Inhale and lift. And then push the palms out. And as you exhale, push out. Good, and relax those arms down. Okay, another one for developing muscles in the shoulders and arms. This next one is we, we are going to be um, lifting our arms so that they're parallel to the floor again. Then we're gonna be making, with our arms out, making some circles, sometimes big circles, but also we're gonna start with some little small circles with our fingers, okay? So again, we're concentrating on lifting our arms so that they're parallel with the floor up to sh shoulder height, all right? Um, ready, so inhale, straight back, arms up, and then let's just make some little circles with our fingers. So one, two, three, and then drop down again, well done. We're going forward, forward rotation of the fingers. Let's do that again. Inhale, straight back. Forward again, one, two, three, and drop them down, well done. Let's move forward a little bit. This time we're going to do the same thing, but uh, small circles, but we're going backwards. So ready, inhale, arms up, small circles backwards, four, exhale, two, three, good, and arms down, just relax. Stay at the front of the chair for this one. So now we're gonna do uh, a similar one, but we're gonna make our circles bigger, which is gonna give a bit more movement in your shoulder joints. So straight back again, extending up towards the ceiling. So arms up parallel again. Inhale, and now big circles. So one, two, three, and relax them down. Good. And this time we're going to do um, go backwards. So make sure that you move forwards again on your chair so you have space behind you. And ready, and let's lift. This time, three backwards big circles. Ready? Inhale and go. One, two, three. Well done. Arms down. Okay. Right. We can move back on your chair if you want. Right. The next couple of ones we're going to do are where we are now raising our arms um, 
up above our heads this time. So this again encourages movement and circulation in the shoulders, but also um, in uh, exercises our arm muscles as well, muscles in our in our arms as well. Okay, biceps and triceps. Okay, right. So what we're going to do first of all is we are going to have our arms by our sides, so relaxed shoulders, and basically we're just going to raise our arms above our head so that our palms touch. And then you're trying, if you can, to lock out your arms above your head. Okay, so inhale. Two arms above your head. When they're right up high, then push up as if you're trying to touch the ceiling with your fingertips. And then exhale and slowly lower your arms. Okay. Suck in your stomach when you're doing this as well. It's good for the core this one. Let's try it again. So inhale, suck in the stomach. Up high, and really point up high with your fingers as if you're trying to touch it. And then as you exhale, slowly lower them. Okay. Right, the next one, uh, this is called the half moon in Bikram yoga, which you normally do. In Bikram, you do this standing up. We, we can do it in, in seated position. Um, the idea with this is that we are reaching up as high as we can, like we did in the previous one, but then we're going to be leaning over. But as you lean over to one side, try not to sink into the hip. So you're still trying to be reaching up upwards as opposed to sinking down onto one side. So um, relax the shoulders to begin with. And as you inhale, just raise the arms like we did in the previous posture. So inhale and let's raise up to the top and then when you're at the top with your right hand pull your left hand directly over the top of your head so it's a sideways twist so you feel a pull on your left and then exhale and then back to the top keep your arms up there and then we're going over the other side so inhale over to the other side and back to the top keep your arms there and then let your hand your head drop backwards and then try and slide your arms back to your ears. So it's a slight backward bend. Back to the top and then relax the arms down again. So we just introduced that little backward bend. That's the third part of the uh, posture. So we're going to just do that one more time. So on the final part, that was a new part. What you do there is you, you let your head um, hang backwards. Just relax the neck muscles completely. And then with your arms, try and move your arms back so that they're touching your ears. So it's a sort of a, a backward bend, really good for the spine. And lungs, anything where your chest gets pushed out is good for your uh, lung function. Right, let's do that one again then. So arms by your side. And let's uh, breathe in through the nose. Raise those arms up. Remember, reach up through your crown up as high as you can. Then with your right hand, pull the left hand over the top of your head, directly over the top, as if it's between two bits of double glazing. Exhale, back to the top. And then we can inhale through the nose again. Over to the other side. Exhale, back to the top. Drop your head backwards, move your arms back to your ears. Exhale, back to the top, and then let's just let our arms come down. Well done. Good, good, good. Right. So we've done a couple of strenuous ones there, or ones that are a bit harder. So let's just now focus a little bit more on the hands and fingers, because lots of people who have arthritis, the fingers and the wrists are often um, the most common areas of pain. So first of all, what we're going to do, um, just get your hands in front of you and connect up your fingers so you're making a sort of a triangle. So making a triangle with your hands there. And then gently press in. So that's stimulating the blood flow in the uh, knuckles and in the hands, strengthening those joints. And relax um, by your sides. Uh, the next one, a similar thing, but this time, um, as we inhale, bring up your palms together 
and then sort of raise your elbows a little bit and this time you're pushing your hands against each other and have a go so push in as much resistance as you can sort of tolerate yourself push in you can feel that in your shoulders and your back as well so gently press as you inhale and relax and then inhale again and press good right next one just to increase a little bit of movement in uh, fingers because sometimes um you can get people get swelling in the, in the ends of their fingers or in i've got mine in uh, a little bit in one of my knuckles which is, it gets a bit swollen this is to increase this next one's to increase flexibility in your hands so basically what we're doing is we are touching each finger individually to the thumb so just get your right hand first and then with your uh, first finger, your index finger, just touch it to your, to your thumb. And then let that go, then the second finger. And the third and the fourth. And on the left hand, just do it. So index finger. Second finger. Third. And then finally the last one. Back to the right hand, do it one more time. First finger, second, third, and the other one. Good, back on the other hand. Index, one, two, three, four. Good, right, next one. We're trying to bend the fingers right over. So right hand up, and then just try and bend your first finger if you can. Then the second one, third, fourth. All of these will increase the amount in your joint there. And the other hand, first finger, second, third. Oh, okay, good. Right, next one with the hands. We've uh, we've done this one before. So, uh, right hand up with the palm facing you, and thumb up, and then left hand, thumb down, and knuckles facing you, and then slide the two hands together, and interlock the ends of your fingers. And this is where we're pulling against, um, pulling against one hand against the other. So as we inhale, pull. Inhale and pull. Good. And again, inhale and pull. Right, keep them interlocked and lower your left elbow, raise your right elbow. And let's pull against each other again. Inhale and pull. Good, you can drop the right elbow, pick up the left, inhale and pull. Good, and then relax your arms down. One thing that you can use, or anything that's strenuous, when you don't want to work with weights, another thing that you can work with is uh, these elasticated bands. Uh, which are quite good, they're resistance bands. So um, you can do things like if, if you've got one in, in front, you can pull apart. Okay, or you, know, you can do this, or behind your back where you're extending out. But you can get different um, st strength in, in the rubber bands. So if you uh, can't do it as well. You can get one that's easier to easier to do. But these are quite good because they can uh, they're resistant to to your own, obviously to how you're performing yourself. But these are quite nice things to do. Okay, right. So we've done quite a bit there with um, our hands. Let's just carry on a little bit more now with our wrists. So let's do the one we've done this before where we're opening the gate. So uh, hands up and. Uh, the uh, your palms are facing you with thumbs up on both. Okay, and all we're doing is we're we're opening the gates outwards. So inhale and open. 
And then when they sort of open like that, then push the palms forward and bend your fingers back towards your body. And close up again. Let's try it one more time, ready? Inhale and go, open, push out the palms, bring them back towards you. Good. Down by your side. And then last one with the hands and the wrists today. So elbows up and hands, have your fingers pointing sort of forwards. So your tips of your fingers are pointing towards the wall in front of you. And as we inhale, we're lifting up, uh, opening up our hands, so open up, and then tilting the nails back towards our face, pushing the palms out a bit. And down again. And next one, go over the slip down, lift them up. Okay, final one. Actually, we can squeeze one, one more into the hands. Let's do the what the bud. So this time, clench your fists and inhale. And as you inhale, then open. Imagine it's a flower opening with each of the leaves, petals opening. So really try and open up your fingers as much as you can, push them outwards from each other, and then close up tight as you can. And open those fingers wide. And close. Okay, well done. So that's lots that we've done with our um, with our hands today, and fingers. So to increase blood flow and flexibility. Right. Let's just do a little bit now where we are um, going back to. We, we've done one bend towards the side, but now we're going to introduce a twist. Now these twists are good for. Um, opening up the spine. Okay, so what you're going to do is uh, sit, sit and smartly straight back and first thing you're going to do is cross your left leg over your right leg, forward on your chair, so left leg over your right leg, then left arm oops, on the chair behind you, then with your right arm bring it across your body and then turn your upper body, it's not an abdominal twist, this, so turn your upper body and looking behind. Ready? So inhale first. So inhale. Arm up and over. And twist around. You're trying to look right over your shoulder towards the wall behind you. And exhale. And back to the front. All right. Swap over legs. So this time left leg on the floor. Pick up that uh, right leg. Bring it over. And right arm behind you. And left arm up and over. And then suck in your stomach and twist round to the right. And look behind you. Good. Well done. So that's a bit of a spinal twist, that one. Right. Let's go on now and do a little bit um, with our knees. So. This time, what we're going to do first of all, resistance on our knees. So first thing is, uh, have your hands either side on the outside of your knees. Okay, and as you inhale, try and push, try and uh, push your knees outwards, but resist it with your hands. Ready? So inhale, and uh, push your knees out. Just trying to open your knees out. Oops. Push in with your hands. So five, four, three, two, one. Relax. And this time, put your hands inside your knees. And this time, what you're trying to do, again, this is a resistance one. So you, the thing about these resistance ones is they're good because you can do it to exactly what, tailor it to exactly how you feel. So what you can do here is you're trying to bring your knees together. But with your hands, you're trying to push your knees out. So ready, inhale, and try and push those knees together. Push out with your hands. Good. Let's go back to the first one. So this time, hands on the outside of the knees. 
and inhale. There it is, now we go. Try and push your knees out and keep them in with your hands. Suck in stomach as we're doing it. Good. Then get those hands inside the knees. And then you're trying to bring your knees together, but you're trying to resist that by pushing outwards with your hands. Let's have a go. Off we go. Inhale and go. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more with, with our legs. So move back a little bit. <coughs> First thing we're going to do, hands by your side. We're going to be raising up our leg. Ready? So let's go. Bring up your right leg. Parallel to the floor. Relax and drop it down. So inhale and lift up the left leg. Try and lock that leg out. Exhale and drop it down again. Good. Right, this time when we're lifting up our right leg again, when your leg is locked out, try and bend your toes back towards your body and push your heel outwards, okay? So this time you're curling your toes back towards your knee. So inhale, right leg up, and then curl those toes back if you can, and push the heel out. Exhale and drop, let's do it with the left leg. So inhale, left leg up, curl those toes back, Press the heel out. Okay, good. Right, this time, again, we're bringing the leg up parallel, but then we are pointing the toes forwards this time. Pressing the toes forward. So inhale, take a deep breath, right leg up, and then push those toes forwards away from you. Relax them down, and let's do the same with the left leg. Left leg up. Deep inhale, then push those toes forwards. And drop, good. All right, next thing with um, legs, we now can combine legs and arms. This is uh, where we're going to be lifting up the right leg and the left arm, both of them parallel with the floor. Ready? So inhale. So right leg, left arm. And exhale and down. And we've got left leg and right arm. Here we go. Good. Back the other way. So right leg and left arm, inhale. Hold and down, left leg and right arm. Get your hat, get your interlock your hands around your right knee. And then as you inhale, try and lift the knee up and lower the head towards the knee, sucking in stomach muscles. Ready? Inhale. Raise that knee if you can. Try and get your forehead on your knee. Exhale. And drop. Then let's go on to the left knee. Two hands on the left knee. Inhale and lift. If you can get the forehead on the knee, all the better. But just lean down. No, so they're still comfortable. And down. Well done. Okay. Right. Let's um, just go and do a couple with our feet now. So sitting straight again, nice straight back. Uh, first thing we're going to do is um, your two feet are on the floor. We're going to, um, first of all, press the toes into the floor and gently Rails, raise the heels off the ground. Ready? So press down with your toes. Gently raise those heels. And down. Okay. Inhale. 
We press the toes in and raise the heels. Exhale and rock. Good. And third and final one. Toes in, heels up, inhale. And down. Right. This next one, uh, we're going to be curling up our toes when we inhale and pressing our heels into the ground. So flexing up the, the other way. Ready? So inhale, press the heels into the ground and then raise those toes. And drop. Okay, one more time for that one. Raise the toes up. Inhale. And drop. Okay. Right, to finish off, let's just uh, relax. So we're just going to uh, focus back and finish off with some breathing as well. So hands on that abdomen. Right. Uh, we're focusing now on slow intake of breath. When, you, when you're breathing in, if you breathe in for four seconds through the nose, breathe out for six. So you're always trying to exhale for two seconds longer than you inhale. That really refreshes the air in the lungs, clears the lungs out. It's good for detoxing. Ready? So hand on that stomach and let's inhale through the nose. Count how many seconds you inhale for and add two when you exhale. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Focus on a slow exhalation. And again, in through the nose, slow and steady and deep. Out through the mouth. One more. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And just to finish off, let's just do, get your index and your second finger. Place them from each hand either side of the temples. And then just press in and make sort of a rotation motion. Just make circular motion through your fingers. Just have a little go. All right, then you can place those just under your ears. Press in again gently. Okay, and then left hand on your left shoulder and just give it a gentle rub. Left hand on right shoulder. Then right hand on left shoulder. A little bit of a rub. And we'll just finish with a, a bit of relaxing eye yoga. So for the eye yoga, just keep your head still. And the only thing that moves is your eyes, not your, not your head. So your head maintains a steady normal posture. Right, so first of all, raise both eyes to the ceiling. And back to the center, then inhale. Two eyes to the floor. Good. Then two eyes to the top right. Inhale. Top right. Back to the middle. Inhale. Top left. Good. Then inhale. Bottom right. Good. Inhale and bottom left. Good. And eyes to the right at eye level. Good. 
exhale, and eyes to the right at I know, to the left, I know. And finally, rub those hands together, generate a little bit of heat, and then place those palms, one palm on each eye. And gently press in. Even press there. All right, and there you go. Thank you for joining in. And we'll uh, see you next week. Thank you.